happening, my lovely, wonderful people? Yes, so our very own sister, the wife of Badebo, Rendo Vendo, has called out security agencies, you know, Commissioner of Police in Lagos State, Hainde, over the video of MC Olumo threatening voters in Lagos State. This is absurd because security agents have since pretended that they are not aware, they did not see the video, and this has continued to spark up a lot of reactions with Nigerians sincerely wondering, where do we go from here? This is not the first time that such things will make rounds, and this is not somebody saying, I heard him saying, you just watch the video, and um, uh, uh, Gladys Bo's wife is saying, why not do your job? As some people are both the law in this country, what exactly is going on? By the way, it's a shame, okay? Because in Nigeria, it seems very much like security agencies do not care what happens to the people. Most of them are really doing their own stuff, their own thing, and do not care what's happening to Nigerians. It's a shame to mention but a few. It was seen saying in that video that anyone who will not vote Sanwolu, you know, should not come out. And people are quiet. Security agencies are quiet. If it's some other person's DSS would have picked them up. Let's get all the details. Badibo's wife called out Ben Ahinde over video of MC Olumo threatening voters in Lagos State. If you will not vote, APC, stay at home. The wife of Badibo, Rando Vendo, Dr. Ifi, has urged the Lagos State Police Public Relations Officer Benjamin to carry out his job on the case of MC Ulumo. She said this in reaction to a viral video in which MC Ulumo could be seen threatening voters on their choice of candidate for the governorship election in Lagos State in the video. MC Ulumo could be seen addressing the people in Yoruba. He said that those who did not want to vote for them should stay in their houses. He said, if you no one vote for us, sit down for your house. So, reacting to the video, Dr. Ife stated that MC Olumo hasn't been arrested even with different videos of him making threats to the people. She said this as she urged Benjamin, the commissioner of police in Lagos State, to carry out his job. She said she also stated that MC Olumo is being backed by the state, which means he's confident against voters in Lagos State and can openly declare this. Could any other person make this declaration in a video and get away with it? This man can confidently threaten voters because he's got the backing of the state. This isn't the first video of him threatening voters, but somehow he always get away with it. It's a shame we need to rise up and this country needs to be sanitized. Democracy needs to be democracy. People should be able to vote for the candidate of their choice. People should be able to speak confidently so long as they are doing the right thing. This is not acceptable. The commissioner for police in Lagos State should rise up. So whether you like it or not, this has not allowed us to see that there is something really wrong with our system so far going forward. There's really something wrong because one would have expected that they should have done something. However, that thing has not been done. One would have expected that they should rise up and do not allow the same thing to repeat itself. But what we see a different ball game altogether. What we are seeing on every quarter and every angle is a different ball game altogether. This is not right. This is not accepted. And this should not be allowed to continue. Not in a nation like this. You know, where truth, honesty, and decency should be the order of the day. What we have is quite different. What we are saying is totally and completely different. You know, where you see uh, Nigerians, you know, you cannot even see the, the purpose of truth being displayed anymore. Yes, the purpose of truth is being, is being, is being uh, totally lost. <clears throat> so these are some of the things going on and why every single person must rise up and do not allow the same thing, okay? And do not allow the same thing to repeat itself. So Nigerians, let's ensure 
that um, whatever we're doing right now, we are rising up to the occasion <clears throat> and we're standing up like we should, ensuring that truth, honesty, and you know decency becomes the order of the day. The people who are particularly telling us that they want to lead, have you evaluated them? Have you looked at them? Have you checked the antecedents? Can they really lead? Can they really rule? These are some of the things that are happening and why again and again, we all need to ensure that, you know, Nigeria, Nigerians are safe from the hands of people who are, who are, who are deceivers, so to say, more deceivers than real human beings. They are deceivers. Yes. So it is what it is. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Remember that if this nation is to be changed, if we're going to get the dawn of a new day, every single one of us will have to rise up and do not allow the same thing over and over again. There is time for everything. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now.